Today, we're going to talk about vibe coding slash AI assisted development, because I don't think any of us are millennials and we call it vibe coding. I can say that everything I've tried with it so far um, has successfully failed to actually run, but it's failed in unique and interesting ways. So let's talk through the tools we've used. Cause like I've used continue, which is a plugin for ES code. I can use that with Olamas. So I can use that with local model. And then I've played with cursor. I have been directly on the LLM without using any tools because I like the control. So I've been using chat GPT and some of the local ones, R1 especially. So, so what are your closing thoughts on AI assistive coding? I think it's cool. It helped me learn a couple of new languages just by playing with it. So I think it's, it's going to evolve over the time it's going to be more of a sidekick rather than a replacement to kind of accelerate a lot of those grunt work out of the way